I didn't want to say this, but Rowdy, you were the le reason I left to go to Texas. <laughs> of course, that's not true, but I will do most anything for a laugh. I really appreciate Bruce and Brent and Meg and what they do for the International Hall of Fame. I know they've had their battles, and I appreciate that, and I appreciate them never giving up. Um, everybody says wherever they are is a great place. This is a great place tonight, but only because you're here. Place is only great because of people. It doesn't matter whether it's a city or a team or a structure, it doesn't matter. People are what really matters. I know there's been some talk about culture. Culture 10 or 15 years ago was team chemistry. In 10 years, all it's going to be is how much do you care about the people around you? on your team, whatever it is. That's, we are simplified in things. I'd like to thank my family who made sure that I kept my family first through this, what, 10 years? 10 years I've been doing this that I remember. <laughs> it's really like 57. Started when I was 10. That's my first lie. Um, but keeping family first as a swimming coach is difficult. If I missed putting the kids to bed, I was given orders to meet them for lunch at school. And been married 57 years, and I can follow orders. <laughs> so much of this depends on the athletes and your relationship with them. Because to get them to do something, they have to trust. And Every year, I thank them for their trust because that's the only way they get better. I love the sport of swimming because you can be 20th and improve five seconds, and there's a smile on, your, on the swimmer's face like they just won the gold medal in the Olympics. I love that part of the sport. And it's a, an accountability sport. In other words, if you try to find an easy way to do it, it may work for a while depending on your talent gift, but it won't work for long. I love that part of it too. Um, love my swimmers. I know they've given me three minutes. But as I tell my swimmers, the difference between a 50 and a 500 is just adding a zero. And you were taught that zero plus 50 would be 50, but it's not. So I've got 30 minutes. <laughs> and the good thing is, third of you are still left here tonight. I know better than that. There are, there are a lot of things that come to mind when I get up here. Um, I know that as, as I've gone through the sport, I've done it longer than most people in their right mind. And what keeps me going is I try to find a way to get better whether it's something personal, 
or something with them in the weight room or something with them in the water. I have never made it easier. My seniors always say they pity the poor freshmen. But I tell them, freshmen think, this is normal. They don't know it's harder than last year. Um, and I work real hard at keeping it fun. I tell my swimmers twice a week, I'm funnier now than I've ever been. I'm not sure they've accepted that, but I want them to. Uh, truly an honor to be doing what I'm doing with the people that I'm doing it with. And to be here tonight with you guys is really special. Thank you very much. Presenting the award is Bruce Weigel.